Came today for a man tortured in confessing to a murder he didn't commit during the John Burge era. The Illinois State Attorney's Office moved to dismiss charges against Keith Walker. WGN's Gaynor Hall there with the bittersweet moment. I guess the question is, what took so long? Yeah, justice was a long time coming for him. Keith Walker was 23 years old when he was sentenced to life in prison. Now 52, he says he's blessed and ready to take one day at a time. After 29 years, Keith Walker is a free man. He was released from the Department of Corrections Joliet Treatment Center this afternoon. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul moved to dismiss all the charges against Walker, vacating his conviction. There ain't no way in the world I should have been spending my whole entire life in prison for something I ain't do. Walker was tortured into signing a false confession to the 1991 murder by a team led by former Chicago Police Commander John Burge. He was the victim of the black box that we've come to know now. Um, he was electrocuted. He was uh, threatened with guns. He was beaten. Um, he experienced horrible, horrible things. Burge and his crew were accused of routinely torturing black men over decades. He was later convicted in federal court for lying under oath and he died in 2018. Walker's attorneys say no physical evidence ever tied him to the crime, but he was sentenced to life in prison. We see today the way in which police uh, mistreat people of color in this country. Um, and so, you know, Keith is both you know, a, a person who was subjugated and oppressed and tortured 30 years ago. And he's a, I think he's a, um, an emblem for the change that needs to happen in the world that we live in today. If it wasn't for them, for my, my lawyers and them, and for my people that's behind me, I'd probably be still sitting rotting in the prison because I'm fighting every day. You know what I mean? For them to hear my case, if you say a due process of the law, I can't tell. And it's been a long road for Walker. In 2009, he was granted an evidentiary hearing in the case, but experienced delay after delay until April when his new attorneys filed an emergency clemency petition pointing to his innocence and the health risks he faces due to COVID-19. He got the good news yesterday. I feel uh, magnificent. <laughs> I, feel, I feel great. <laughs> And Walker says he was really looking forward to eating some lamb chops and spending some time with his four children. He says it was really his faith in God and his positivity that got him through this. Reporting live tonight from Joliet, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Back to both of you in the studio.